Next up is Noor Aziza from the Coral Bell School of Asia Pacific Affairs in the ANU College of Asia and the Pacific. And the title of her three minute thesis is Uniting Two Systems. Do you ever wonder where your garbage goes after it leaves your house? What happens to our garbage when the government cannot invest sufficient resources to manage it? Waste management works well here in Australia, but in developing countries like Indonesia, it's a huge and pressing problem. Indonesia last year produced more than 67 million tons of waste, which mostly ends up in the landfill, creating mountainous waste, as you can see here. This is a view in almost all landfills in Indonesia. Can you imagine the smells there? There are also burning garbage fires and waste avalanches. But if you look closely in the pictures, there are people and cows. Those people try to extract the economic potential of waste despite the unsafe and unhealthy condition. Those are informal waste pickers who collect waste to make a living. My research explores the role of informal waste management that include waste pickers, intermediate waste buyers, and other members of the community. I investigated how the system runs and moves into the gap left by the government in the waste collection, transportation, and dumping services. I interviewed many actors and analyzed government reports, government policies, and articles on waste management. From there, I learned that the Indonesian government has been trying to innovate waste treatment, including a massive campaign on reuse, reduce, and recycle, and bringing in technology to turn waste into energy. But technology tends to put the informal waste system aside. There are also limits to the government services, including in human resources and finance. So keeping the city clean will need informal waste management which has been providing alternatives alongside the government system. Although the two systems working together and planned and appear chaotic, it brings together two different interests, city cleanliness and economic benefit. My research recognizes the values of informal mismanagement. With this insight, we can move toward a hybrid system that combines both formal and informal waste management a design system that empowers the informal waste actors, formalizes their roles, and provides safer and healthier environment for them to work under the supervision of the government as the duty bearer. Solving the best problem is possible and necessary so that all citizens can enjoy cleaner and livable cities. Thank you.